on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. First things first, this is a quirk. That means sea prism stone, sea water, as well as hockey. Those things don't affect him. I mean, hockey and sea prism stone aren't really a thing upon the My Hero canon in the first place. The things that can still affect him are sharp objects, heat, and of course, it being a quirk. Aizawa. So, that's something. We open up our story as a baby Kizuku is being brought to sleep by Inko. But this is when a villain attack occurs and she accidentally drops him. Her worry for the sake of her child, she runs in there and sees that he's fine. In fact, he's honest to God bouncing. Much to her surprise is like, wait, are you saying as a villain is pretty much trying to legit kill the both of them? No hero just showed up yet, so Ingo has no choice but to try to defend her and Izuku. It's been at least two months since he's been uh, born. So... Ingo is in full mama bear mode. Her using her court to fullest when it comes to, you could say, crapping weapons. She's throwing things. She's trying to reach for more things she can use as a weapon and throw. It's not working. <laughs> Until then, she grabs a knife and goes in charging. This villain's like, what the hell's going on? Just pretty much dodging each and every one of Inko's attacks until he steps on something. It being Zuku, him slipping, Inko slipping, and stabbing him. He is dead. By the time police and says show up, they see Inko holding Izuku, a, a dead villain. With a knife in his chest. Of course, they assume that Inko may be the villain and she's kidnapping the child. And she's like, oh wait, that looks just like her kid. So, we're going to have to bring her in for questioning at least. But, all in all, it seems like self-defense. As it was. Inko realizing that, yeah, her kid is... Gonna be a handful with quirk like this. I mean, it pays for the fact that he's more resilient, definitely. But that means he'd get into more trouble, and God forbid if a villain shows up. So she has no choice but to really train her quirk a lot more. Almost to the point where she's. You could say Miski notices the changes because Inko has bulked up a little bit to the point where it was like, whoa, what have you, what do you lift? But not so much as like it's too much like Broly level. <laughs> if anything, Izuku growing up with Inko's, he's four now. And seeing how strong his mom is, using her quirk and everything, he gets more interested in them. Her pretty much telling him about the time where, yeah, they almost died, and she had no choice but to defend the both of them. This inspires him to not only want to be a hero, like technically his mom was that day, but also learn more about quirks, considering that yeah, as soon as it happened, as soon as everything was cleared up, she got registered as a rubber-based quirk. At first, it doesn't really seem like much, and she was like, oh, wait, this means punches and such don't affect him. 
seriously, it, your son is almost invulnerable to pain. Her proving this is she pinches, pinches his cheeks and stretching them. He's just laughing. That is very impressive. But that also means, you know, you can get into a lot of trouble. Oh, believe me, I figured that. And yeah, that's pretty much Izuku. Once he becomes 10 years old, this is when, again, the All Might versus All for One fight. Ingo has actually. <laughs> so her quirk is a lot more versatile. Before, she could draw things towards her, but now she can reverse it. Before, more like gravity and uh, a black hole. I. I, okay, the verse is kind of like the opposite. A white hole, shut the fuck up, fall out. Instead of sucking your things in, it, <laughs> oh God, what am I doing? It repels. So, yeah. She's pretty much shielding herself and Izuku for getting the old weight. This rubber wouldn't affect him if they wanted to. <laughs> Izuku watching this fight. He's enjoying every second of it. And seeing how much strain this is actually putting on his mom. To a point where he's like, can I help? Uh, no, no, no. He's not supposed to use your cork in public. But it looks like it hurts. Her forcing a smile as Izuku, he knows this is bullshittery to the highest degree But, it's when he sees her getting a bloody nose. Is when it's like, no. I have to help you. Her just, like, what, what, what are you doing? As he runs right up in front of her, right where the field is, and gets shot out like a bullet. And smacks smack dab into awful one, right in the face, almost a captain the motherfucker. All my is like, who did that? Not seeing Izuku for a second, only seeing a fucking projectile zoom past him. As awful one is pretty much disoriented. All my being able to deliver several killing blows. Not enough to ruin his face, but plenty enough to make sure he ain't getting up anytime soon. This is when Inko just rushes in saying, where's my son? What? He shot himself up out of my field and... Wait, that was your son? What were you thinking? I didn't do that. He did it. This then, Izuku just shows up and like, that was awesome. I kind of want to do it again. Inko wanting to whoop him, but technically, it wouldn't work anyway. She had no real way to do that. <laughs> Is it, well, did you try getting him quirks of presence? What? Oh, yes. What is quirk blockers? You're kidding. Mm hmm. But they work fine. They're perfect for those who seem to be rather reckless with their quirks. Really? Izuku just smiling and laughing as he feels like something's off. Like, hey, what? Why do I feel like I'm in danger? Him seeing the silhouette of a pissed off Inko, though he has seen her mad before, <laughs> she doesn't really get much mad at him. Let's just say, yes, Inko finally realizing that, yes, they make quirk bloggers and or suppressants for unruly folks. This is, isn't is the first time Izuku got uh, ass whooping? But this is the first time it actually affects his ass. I. 
Yeah. As you say, he learned his lesson. Because of him and Bogo being friends, they are. They both see the complete and utter awesomenessity of their quirks. Only thing is, it's kind of like, wow, you're like the only person that can hurt me. What? Yeah, I mean, heat, sharp objects, are, plus quirk suppressions and whatnot, are really my only weakness. So, if you and I ever fought, chances are you'll be the only person that can actually hurt me and possibly beat me. Then again, <laughs> all I have to do is tie you out. That's all I have to do! Uh, okay, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. Is Izuku pretty much like okay? Yeah, this. If this guy gets too strong using that heat, uh, that chances are that's it for me. But then he starts to notice something else. Him and Bago are playing out in the snow, and they're. I'm not gonna lie. They're competing against each other to see who can last the longest in the snow. This gets worse when you consider Bakugo can use his quirk, so they have to make a rule that no one can do that. No quirk usage. And this is when another weakness of Izuku's is revealed. He can't really handle the cold either. He causes him to be more st stiff, and he f still feels the temperature. It's like, no, uh, this, this is okay. This is very bad for me. Seeing that, yeah, the cold and heat, too much of either, can be very problematic. Much to his uh, worrisome nature. So if anyone has the ability to inflict intense, intense heat and or cold, chances are he's going to have to be very, very cautious around them. Hmm? 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 Hint? Hint? But, all in all, their childhood is perfectly fine. Izuku isn't really bully because his quirk is very versatile. It's useful. It's, huh. And for anything, Bargo really considered like, huh. I want to be the number one hero, but chances are, me and you will just be competing back and forth until one of us just gets it. Then we start switching. What? Just as our, considering how powerful our quirks are, yeah, we're just gonna be sharing the number one role back and forth. <laughs> no, no, I'm taking that. That that's gonna be mine. Really? Oh man, come on, Kasuki, you can't even touch me. But well, only takes is one good hit. I, do, do you know how many? Here. You're right. What's this? Candy. Oh. Um. Okay. Yeah, Paul and Zuku eating it. Then he's like, uh, huh. Yeah, it tastes pretty good. Just get punched in the face by Koski. <laughs> what, the, what the hell? Why the hurt? Uh, wait. Him looking deeper into the rapper is like, Oh, you asshole! You nerfed me! <laughs> oh, okay. So all I gotta do is get this stuff out of my system. Wait, what? Izuku pretty much working up a sweat, trying to build up the. You can say speed up the process of digestion, which is hard. Well, 
hard to do than it is to say. But I'll go just like, I'll just one shot you here and now. Not knowing that it was a bluff, and Izuku just got an opening. Him pretty much sucker punching Kasuki in the back of the head. Again, he gets flashbacks of his mom being the ever loving shit out of him sometimes. And now let's do the beginning of the anime in which it's Izuku and Kasuki. They don't do a speech or anything. They just talk about how they're going to be the number one hero. And everyone believes it. They know how strong Gizuku is. They know how strong Bakugo is. Being one of the few people that can actually hurt Izuku since some do actually do uh, have some fire or ice based quirks. The only thing is... They don't get nearly as many chances of, as Bakugo would. Now, as far as the Sludge Bill incident, it still happens, but Izuku's. Uh, are you kidding me? Using one of the techniques that he's actually come up with over the years, the Gum Gum Gatling, as well as uh, being able to legit. Stretch out his body into the size of a balloon. So villain has no choice but to really give up because there's not enough of him to to try to capture Izuku. However, as soon as all might just show up and see the giant ball that is Izuku, he's like young Midoriya. What did I say about using your quirk in public? I only do it in self-defense? Correct. So why are you using it as he sees the sludge villains? Oh. Huh. Oh, never mind. Him pretty much grabbing the sludge villain, and that is it. Easy peasy. When it comes to the whole Tamar's train, it's Izuku and Bakugo. They clean up Dagobah Beach together. Bogo pretty much trying to make more disruptive uh, explosions while Izuku tries to work on his speed and strength. If anything, Luffy is hella strong! Though, yes, hockey is not a thing here. Izuku being able to stretch and contract his muscles in such a way, he, he's, he's, he's built. He built different. <laughs> and thanks to the whole thing with Izuku and Kasuki being good friends, Kasuki actually listens to Izuku's advice when it comes to using his quirk. Like making, making explosions strong enough to actually propel himself and technically honest to God fly. While Izuku is pretty much naming more of his techniques over, uh, at least after, Guns. Him? Yeah. When it comes to the whole theoretical exam, they tie. When it comes to the practical exam, Izuku, he isn't, he doesn't have as much quick and destructive power as Bakugo does yet. But his speed is something that Bago at the point cannot match. This being said, he is he has been humbled ever since the whole thing with him and his old his first ass whooping that actually hurt. So he is confident, but he's not too cocky to the point where it's exhausting. He will showboat and even brag sometimes, but not to the point where you're like, please shut up. We get it. As yeah, all the teachers, Nezu are watching, all my, he's like, huh, these two are doing very well. This is about time when Ego shows up. So how's my kid doing? 
Oh, he's doing fine. Miss Midoriya. Oh yeah, he goes a hero. Oh, oh yeah, she she, she she's a hero, all right. Damn it. But poor Izuku. When it comes to Oraka, he does try to destroy it. But he then prioritizes saving her over himself. Luckily for him, he did not eat any quirk suppressants. Yes, he gets squished. Everyone is in utter shock and hope. Wondering what the hell just happened while Inko's... Really? Did he really just do that? Yes, he did. The test is ended. Oraka thinks she just had someone sacrifice himself for her, which makes her feel a little bit guilty until the robot actually backs up. Showing that Izuku just springs back to life like an old school cartoon. Everyone looking like, wait, what? As he's like, oh yeah, wait, did you guys not notice? What? <laughs> I'm a rubber man. Him literally just stretching his cheek, showing it off. <sighs> what am I going to do with him? Oraka just punching him over and over again. Like, why did you do that? Did you know you were going to survive? Like, no. Then why did you do it? Because you were in trouble. Uh. R really? You would have died trying to save me? Of course, that's what a hero does. Him having the most dumb and April China smile. As Oraka is blushing and just leaves like that. Inko, like, he has no idea what he's done, does he? Nope. This is when midnight is pretty... <sighs> Looks like I have more competition. The fuck you say? <coughs> I'm sorry, what? No, 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 please repeat yourself. Inko definitely looking like... Bitch, what you... You trying to... You trying to bubble who you my, my kid? I did not say that. He's 15. Hmm, you're right. Three more years. <laughs> Inko just raising her hand and Midnight is being drawn towards her. Her just trying her best not to completely force choke Midnight is like <laughs> Inko. <laughs> this is starting to hurt. Good. Good I will not allow you to deflower my son. So you're fine. As long as I don't do it? Correct. Okay, fine. This is first time won't be with me. But, wait, what? Yeah, this first time won't be with me, but as soon as he, he has his little fun, he's all mine. What? What is that supposed to mean? Well, as soon as he's 18, he's fair game. Oh, wait. Then again, we are in Japan. <laughs> I just gotta make sure you both have you with, with another girl first. <laughs> Can I kill her? No. Please? <laughs> Believe me, as... Much as her perversions are upsetting to us, we can't have you kill a hero. <laughs> so let me go, Inko. <laughs> hey, you're crazy. 
Yes, and you're a perv. No, I'm just interested in what I see. He's 15. Huh. Barry Wonder. Does that a uh, rubber quirk work with anything else? As yes, All Might, Aizawa, Cementos, all the other teachers, besides Nezu, they're holding Inko back, and she's like, I will kill this bitch. I don't care if I become a villain, I'll become a vigilante. Let me kill her. Yeah, man, she is not helping her case. Her just being as messed up mean as ever. Yeah. <sighs> But yeah, Zizuku, he's packed up all his stuff and ready to go. Inko, she's going to take him home. The only thing is, she, she's she's eyeing for anything that might be suspicious. She's, she's like, okay. I don't, I don't see Midnight Nowhere. I'm, I don't see that anyone who could have been sent by Midnight anywhere either. Her running to Izuku, but he's already gone. When she turns her head, she sees him in a limousine in which it's midnight, and she's like, Oh, hey, go. Huh, I guess I'll see you at home. <laughs> her too late to try to stop them as they speed off. Zuku confuses all hell. Inko pisses all hell. Midnight being thirsty as hell. I mean, <clears throat> uh, I mean, worrying for Izuku's well-being. So happily driving him back home. Yeah. None of y'all believe that shit. But still, when it comes to the whole thing, when it comes to the results, you say the results. Izuku and Bago tie. Bago because of his explosive power and speed. Izuku because of that, as well as saving people every so often, especially Oraka. When they tie, they're pissed. Izuku especially because he wanted to win. He wanted to outdo Bakugo. Right, right now, Bakugo is his only rival, you could say. But, it's a celebration party. Though, yes, he tied for first place, it's still... Huh, you guys made it to UA. Ingo pretty much getting sloshed, as well as Midnight and Miski. Masaro trying to stop them for doing anything stupid. Like, seriously, there are children present. Like, you want to shut up, man. Yeah, give me another drink, damn it. Miski, what? Heck, I promise. I know when I. Wait, do I? I. Uh... Is yeah, Izuku him feeling like something? Something's not right here. He, he feels somewhat terrified, wondering like, okay, something. I feel like someone's eyeing me. And lo and behold, it is midnight. Just staring Izuku down. Him not noticing it's her. He trusts her. Oh my god. What am I doing? <clears throat> Bakugo sensing the hostility. possibility He's like, okay, let's just, let's just leave. Please, let's just... Mom, Dad, can we please just go home? Like, but we're not done celebrating. Oh, yes, we are. And so you, you got drunk. <laughs> That's when the celebration is over. You can't tell what to do. I'm your, I'm your mom. Right now, you're nothing but a lush, and you have had your fill. Let's go. Him and his father are having no choice but to drag Miski out. Midnight. She accidentally uses a quirk, and Inko and her are. Pretty much incapacitated. Midnight because of the booze, Inko because of the quirk. 
and partially the, bro the booze. As yeah, Izuku, he's a guy, and I'm not risking going to sleep. I don't, I don't know what goes on when they're drunk. I've never, ugh, always wondered, but never. It's very uncouth to do such, to have such thoughts. <laughs> However. Is a group being the way he is, he's pretty much something. Like, yeah. You know what? I'm going to do some training. As yes, he's in the force. He's trying his best to make it so. Yeah. He's not going to embarrass himself in UA. Because one thing that All Might did let him know, and he let Bongo know that. As soon as they get there, they are not the top dogs anymore. At all. They, if, if anything, right now they're bottom tier, possibly, compared to some of the other people. And we don't know what kind of quirks could be at our class alone. Which, yeah, Bakugo, he's seen Izuku. So... Being humbleized already, he already knows that, like, yeah, there's always someone stronger. <sighs> but then there's a rustling. He hears it and he's like, Who's there? As he sees this hooded figure and is, Do you have any change? What? Wait, you speak up? Do you have any change? Izuku is the... Why does this all feel like a horror movie? What was I thinking coming into the forest after dark? <sighs> okay. Let's see, I might as well. As then, Toga launches at him. Him seeing pretty much her, but wearing a... Wait, is that an Oni mask? As yes, she is slicing at pure air, trying to get to Izuku. Him like, wait, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? I need you to die. I, I need your blood. He's like, wait, what? Why? As, yeah, this fight is completely one-sided. It, it's not even a fight. It's pretty much Izuku dodging and trying to get answers. Toga pretty much saying, please die, please die, please die. As she finally gets a cut on him, he just pimp slaps her on instinct. He's like, oh, I'm sorry, but you kind of deserve that. Self-defense. Her pretty much exhausted. She's up all the rest of her energy trying to attack Izuku. Him seeing that, yeah, she has some cuts. She's been burned. She's like, wait, what the hell happened to you? Her. Uh, I got. I don't have a damn thing to say to you. Uh. Hmm. You hungry? No. Uh, come with me. Why should I trust you? <laughs> Says the woman who tried to kill me. Uh, fine, fine, whatever. As you... Uh, he goes back. Midnight's quirk is completely gone, but as soon as she sees those two slaws, she's like, What the hell have you done? You killed them? Like, no. What were you planning on doing to me? I, th they're not dead. What? What's what you assuming? He's like, I don't know. I see two very capable heroes, well known, on the floor, unconscious. What have you done? I don't know, as she's like, oh, 
What smells like alcohol? Her seeing the empty bottles of booze is like, oh. Oh. Yeah, oh. I'm sorry. Yeah, how dare you assume? That's rude. As yes, he pretty much feeds Toga as much as he can possibly eat, and Toga is grateful, is but just why are you helping me? Why are you wearing that Oni mask? Uh, well, I. It was. I had no choice. As there is a whole fucking backstory. You see, Toga's family is. Seen and kept in high regard. The thing is, when she, her quirks, little hiccups started to occur, her parents didn't want anything to do with her. And the reason why she has a mask in the first place is to hide a, a special brand, or at least mark that would never come off which signifies her as a demon child uh, oh I I am so sorry to hear that. I don't need your pity it's not pity it's it's fine Oh, thank you for the food. Got anywhere to stay? I, I need to get home. With all those scrapes and bruises and cuts, no. I'm not going to let you go. <clears throat> well, hell, I don't need your help at all. I, I could have just gotten by with... As she's walking off, Izuku grabs her by the hand, and she's just yelling at him to let me go. I'm going home. You can't stop me. You can't stop my family. Izuku just pulling her in for a hug. What are you doing? Hugging you, of course. I, I, I know that, but why? Because you look like you could use it. As yes, the tears start flowing. Himiko is been completely. She's fallen for Izuku's charisma and his honest to God and good heart, which is the bane of many whammons, especially when it comes to my what ifs. Damn it! <laughs> when the day is finished, at least that night. Inko and Nurmi, yeah, they they wake up with a massive hangover. They drank God knows how much water, believe me, I know. I've me and my cousin had five shots back to back and I woke up dehydrated because I forgot to drink the damn water. And when midnight and Inko goes to wake up Izuku or at least say good morning the sight they they see is not one they expected. The sight is Izuku and Toga in bed together. Only thing is, Izuku is holding Toga and she is holding him tighter, hoping that he doesn't just disappear. This is when Inko and Urumi yell out in pure angry woman energy which wakes up both of them toga especially surprised that she's still there izuku's like oh my god uh, you should wait why didn't you guys knock like i tried but you wouldn't answer the door so who the fuck is this when i say yes i would like to know that as well like oh <coughs> she's 
she's uh yeah Himiko was like okay let me at least get back on at him a little bit I'm his now and forever he can see two more Oni masks show up behind a cloud of malice And that is how this part, first part ends. Enjoy when this comes out. I know I enjoyed making it.